Hi you guys, today we'll be taking a look at the uh, rather interesting new collector's edition of Gurren Lagann. This came out of nowhere, uh, Anime Limited announced this, uh, was it the end of January I think it was? So we're going to take a quick look at this new collector's edition that they decided to release. So, my god the uh, lighting isn't very good at all. Uh, two seconds. It's not a very bright morning here in the UK. So here's the uh, back of the uh, info box. Well, the sleeve that you'll get with it. Just basically detailing what you get, get your special features and whatnot. Love the artwork. Tis Region B, Tis the Blu-ray. And obviously our contents. As I say, it's a bit dark here to this morning. So uh, without further ado, let's crack this open and get a bit less glare on this thing. And here we are, we're inside, so let's take another look at the art box. Very, very nice indeed. Gurren Lagan. So this is without the info card. The info card just has two glue dots, not normal. So I remember when Gurren Lagann was in an Ultimate Edition, and at the end of, what was it, 2015 I think, they managed to get a bunch of boxes on Anime Limited store, only 50 left, and they sold them. Our black box, obviously, nice and dandy, lovely art box. And I managed to, I actually missed out on the, uh, the Ultimate Edition. So uh, this is the next best thing really, and I absolutely love Gurren Lagann. I think it's a great series, and I'm really happy to have it as collector's edition. And so, Anime Limited had the materials and assets to make a new collector's edition. One for fans that didn't get the ultimate edition. And more cost effective along with the movies. Any of you that have the uh, ultimate edition, uh, Anime Limited will be making a single release of the um, movies. So you don't need to buy this just to get the movies, which is nice. So this is a series... Pretty much the same as the standard release. The only difference would be the cover. I'll post an insert with the original cover. This is just an alternate cover with this collector's edition. So that's the series. Right, here we have Gurren Lagann, the movie. We have Childhood's End, The Lights in the Sky of Stars, Parallel Works. Here we have the spine. So I've never seen the movies at all. Probably the main, well, I'll say one of the main reasons it was a case of like it's Gurren Lagann and it's a collector's edition. What's not to like? Here we have the discs. So on the left we have the lights in the sky are stars. Parallels number eight through fourteen. Not quite sure what that means. There we go. Oh, okay. And one through seven. On the other side, I'm not quite sure what that is. But that's the movie. And the last, but not least, is the Gurren Lagann art book. So I'm, I do understand that there's different materials in here. Composed compared to the, uh, the original Ultimate Edition art book. Just a quick flick through. Okay, so that, that was the art box artwork. Very nice indeed. So there is a Japanese limited edition, which is really nice by the way. I've seen the unboxing to it and everything looks really nice, but it's expensive as hell. And this is the artwork they use for the front of that box. And there we go. This was a uh, this is the art they used for a card, an authentic an authentication card in the ultimate edition, basically saying what number you were out of like two thousand, I think it was. And then obviously, who worked on the uh, series and who was in charge of the product. So that is Gurren Lagann the Collects Edition. And yep, it's just basically Gurren Lagann. Uh, bundled with 
uh, an art book and the films in a lovely flex edition art box and that's all it is but for anyone that really likes going Lagan what a better way to have a series in such a glorious collector's edition. Very nice little collector's edition. I really like it. I think it's great. And I've always wanted to go and look on in the collector's edition. So Anime Limited obviously delivered. It looks really nice and I'm really pleased with it. So, um, with all these setbacks in quarter one, not that it's you know anybody's fault, you know, it happens. Um, in terms of unboxings, I probably won't be doing another one for at least another month. I think I think the next one that comes out that I plan to pick up is Noragami, which is like the 20th of March. So uh, I'll probably be going on a hiatus for a little bit. <laughs> um, but at least it gives me time to sort things out and crack on with work and whatnot. I understand this is the first video in just over a week, so... But uh, yeah, I'll be going away for a bit while I wait for releases to come out. So uh, I would like to say unboxing soon, and I'd like to see you guys soon again, but uh, I'm not sure if that's going to happen. Either or, until next time guys, have fun.